Hey guys, so here bringing you another video. Welcome back to the leveling account. And we're playing Yasu in the bot lane. Um, I've never done this. Ever. I thought, why not? Let's try it out. Let's give it a go. Time to annoy this Aatrox to rage quit. <laughs> you evil man. Or woman. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. What do they say? I'm not very good with all this stuff. I shouldn't. What's it called? I've gone blank. Presume. Sure. Yep. I'm learning. A good Aatrox destroys Teemo. Well, let's hope that he's not a good Aatrox. <laughs> Ooh, we got the mastery. Mastery's out on display. Am I lagging? No. Oh, yeah, no, I'm lagging IRL because I got, went blank. I get you. I get you, I get you. Is LEC on today? I've got no idea. I am not. I need to send Duffman that message and be like, yo, we want to have a chat. My audience want to have a chat with you about what it's like to being the head analyst of one of the best teams in the world. Like right now in Twitch chat, what type of question would you want to ask one of the best analysts in the world right now? Like what questions would you want? Because I, I don't know, would people be more interested on the technical side? Or would people be more interested on like the personal side? Like what is it really like working, you know, in that world? I don't know. And people are like, what what's the pros like in real life? Are they nice? I'm sure that'll be a question. Um, but yeah, no, Duffman is an ex-teammate of mine. Used to play a lot of League together. Used to play in LANs, tournaments, won tournaments. He then kind of stopped playing League a bit himself. And then went to more like analyst of our team. And then he used his analyst work for our team to then get into G2. And he's now worked his way up to he is legit the head analyst of a League of Legends world team. Pretty cool, huh? Again, my, my Absolute Zero back in the day was a pretty legit team. It, it wasn't bad. Oh! I've never played Yasuo, but by the way. <laughs> uh, absolute Fridge, yeah. That's what gals used to call it. And then my friends who are like, you know, they, they, they played League, but they never played League seriously. They made a, a ranked fives team called Absolute Fridge. <laughs> Just to mock our name. G2 is considered the best team in the world right now. Well, yeah, I will. Let's just say one of them. Because we, we never know until the regions play against each other, let's be honest. Like, yes, hypothetically, they could be the best team in the world. But you never know that until they actually have played against the likes of the Korea, China, etc. So, yeah. But they, they I'd say... It's pretty easily to say they're going to be top three in the world. One of my old good friends is their dude. So again, he is the reason why Caps picks a champion. He is the reason why they ban a champion. It is on Duffman. That is him. All the decisions of of that is Duffman. It's a lot of pressure. Because if he, if he doesn't scout something correct and something gets through and he doesn't find it out, it's on him. Like SKT pull out a new strategy, it's his fault for not finding that out. High pressure job, man. High pressure. Under pressure. Also, Timo died, and I'm not. I'm not sad. I'm sorry, dude. You're a Twitch sub. I love you, but I'm not sad. He didn't use heal the first time like they died. I guess because I had ignite on, he just kind of accepted the death. Uh, now we've delayed the mini subathon. Uh, basically, I did not realize there's a thing happening in the next few days called September. Uh, that basically makes Twitch subs half price. And I felt way too guilty doing a subathon today when people will be paying full price now and in five days they could buy a sub for half price 
So basically, what we've done is any subs that we got today, I think we got about 20 maybe today, maybe about 25. Uh, we're just going to put them onto the next subathon. So instantly, we'll add all the time, the rewards, everything will be like they happened that day instead. But yeah, I don't want to take people's money today when they're going to get it half price if we did one in a couple weeks. Uh, yeah, so Twitch subs get uh, Twitch partners get full price, uh, full payout for subs, even in September, apparently. So even if you guys are spending half the money... Well, I can actually say, I know I'm not technically allowed to say, but I have better than a 50-50 ratio with uh, Twitch when it comes to my partnership. So, you know, a Twitch sub is five bucks. I make more than $2.50. So in September... Twitch is technically going to make a loss on me. They're going to pay me more than $2.50 per sub, but that's all people are going to be spending. So that's kind of crazy. Then, you know, imagine I'm not a crazy big streamer. Imagine someone like Lyric or, I don't know, whoever the big streamers are nowadays, getting crazy subs. How much of a loss are Twitch going to have then? It's a lot, man. That's a lot. You wish YouTube did cool events like that? Ha! <laughs> Me and you both, buddy. Me and you both. Instead of that, you get a copyright flag going, you did something wrong. You know, have a copyright flag. That's what YouTube gives you. That's your present from YouTube. I love YouTube, but holy moly. Cool thing as well was Twitch, obviously... Yes, we're in a bit of inflated subs because we had a subathon, a very successful subathon a little while back. But the incomes are starting to level out a little bit. YouTube is still a, quite a bit ahead, but it's not as big as it used to be. So it's like, hmm, interesting. Which is good because you never know if YouTube is just going to blow up in the next few months. Another ad apocalypse or something. Also, this is going pretty well, huh? Again, this is, again, leveling uh, games, I try to make these like the second video of the day. They're a bit more chill, a little bit more laid back. But this so far has been working. The Janna seems pretty good. Uh, we can kind of deny these two quite a lot. Ezreal's a poke champion. I got Windwall. So this is going... I, I like how it's going so far. So thumbs up from me so far. YouTube needs competition to step up their game. Uh, yeah, I 100% agree. It's just very hard to get that competition though because it's such a monopoly. So, Yeah. Again, that's why, like, when people are saying, what did I think of Ninja's move to Mixer? Hell yeah, it's a great thing. Because competition breeds success all around. And when a company like Twitch, who I love and I adore the company, I love YouTube. But when you can be kind of complacent for so long um, because you've got no competition, you can do anything you want. You can ban creators. You can not ban creators for doing bad things because there's no... There's no bad thing that will happen. You're the streaming platform or whatever. Yeah, something needs to change. And the only way you'll change that is if they feel threatened and then they finally need to start doing things better. I really need to sneeze. That heal. I didn't know he had heal up. <laughs> Wait, he's got Conqueror. Weird. Oops. I didn't think he'd have heal up then. I don't know why. I misjudged. Uh, we're going to do a TFT game after this one, yeah? Uh-oh. This Aatrox seems pretty good. He cancelled the Vi. Oh. Go, Casa win. Oh, that was good. Ooh. Oh, that blind. Oh. Uh oh.
Man, I've always said it. Yasuo is so fun to play, but it's just not a very good thing to use to climb in League. It's way too inconsistent. It's fun, though. So I see why people play it, because if they if someone's a bit more like on the casual side and they're legit just in League of Legends for fun, Yas is one of the most fun champions you can play. So I 100% get why people play him. Oh god, the enemy team is pretty fed. Stop. <laughs> Uh, am I going to make a video on the PvE? It's getting changed a lot. Uh, what, the TFT PvE? Yeah, we might jump onto it. Potentially. Probably not today, though. Someone's regretting the Teemo pick. They should have kept to their name. Teemo is not meta. Ran. Yeah, the items look kind of stupid in TFT. Like, I hope that they don't go too stupid, and it kind of looks like they're going stupid, and we all know why they you know... I don't know why the dude insists on making everything he designs broken, but he just does. It's like, it's not even a meme anymore, it's just truth. You love his champs, though. Well, yeah, they're fun to play as champions. They're just very bad for the game as a as a whole. Do you think Zed's still around? No, he's mid. Okay, cool. How's Zed level 10? I honestly have no idea. Well, I looked at that and I was a bit surprised myself. I was like, hmm. Soraka silence is the most annoying thing. Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, I know he said in an interview it's not his job to balance, and that's why he's not very good at his job. Mm. Can't commit to that because I don't know where Zed's gone. He did, yeah, he did Warwick, but it was quite, um, it was quite widely said that he was held on a leash with Warwick, saying you only can do the specific thing with it. You can't go out of, like, you can't make him crazy. You just do a proper rework of, like, the old Warwick, and that's what he did. So when he's held, like, on a leash, he can make, again, he's a good, good designer, just, like, goes a bit crazy when Riot don't hold him back. Things that's coming. Ooh! Double. There he is. He complained about being held down with a Warwick rework. There you go. And I think that's probably his best work he's ever done. I really want to kill the tower. No, the plates are dead. Damn, no plates. She's so quick. Shut down. Been slain. So the rest of my team is not doing too hot. So this is definitely going to have to be a Huzzy Carry episode if we're going to win. We'll have to try and get involved a bit more. But that's fine. Again, we, we kind of butchered the uh, bot lane and now I can get involved, I think. Ooh. 
Not incredibly convinced that's going to go well. See what we can do. <laughs> oh, what the hell happened then? What? Okay, that was weird. It like looked like he kind of like floated or something. I don't know. Ugh. Again, I've said for ages, I mean no ill will to the the guy at all individually. I'm sure he's a lovely bloke. I just don't think he's great for a multiplayer game. Bethesda should hire him in a, in an instant. He'll be amazing for an Elder Scrolls single player game. Be amazing or a um, Fallout. Incredible. But. Mm. He just doesn't care about the experience on the other side of what's him playing. You know, he designs something for the player that's playing it right now and not the guy that has to play against it. Certainly T, yeah. He's the type of guy that I, if I ever was invited to write LA, and I've had hints that I might be going one time sometime. Um, he's the type of guy that I'd love to sit down for a chat with. 100%. I don't know. Wow, my ultimate legit just came up then. God, he's fed. Mm, who is that? Certainty. T. Pretty much out of all the rioters, like, uh, you know, I was going to have a meeting with Mark Merrill and everything. Out of every rioter, he would be the one that I would actually want to talk to the most. You could be okay for the fighting game. Nah, because that's a multiplayer experience too. Don't know if we're winning this one. I think the enemy team just got a bit too fed even for us winning bot lane a lot. Because Aatrox and uh, Zed, I think, can kill me. So I prefer OP champs or Sergeant Caesar, usually champ like Panth. Neither? Why do I have to choose between those two options? Both of them are pretty bad champion design, so... Yeah, he's too fed. He just can kill me. Oh, he ignited me as well. Oh, if I went after shot, she should have done a hail of blades. It's way stronger. Speng is here. Oh no, the pleb. Is a remote reminder on my list? Uh, normally it wouldn't be, but it might have to be this game because of the healing. Whoa! 
Ah, he's a big chicken. Is that just the okay? Timo's back. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's a Graves. <laughs> right into him. Okie dokie dokie dokie. I don't feel about the new TFT items. They look really bad. They just, I don't know. It, to me, it's going to make the game way less enjoyable. I don't want more random in a more ra in a random game mode. And there's now an item that's like Thieves Glove or something that you can just randomly steal or something items. It's like, what is going on? We don't need that. Stop. Plus. No one is promised tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Again, if you guys didn't see, I'll bring it up on the screen very quick. Um, if you guys haven't seen the uh, new... That's going to be the new League Partner Chroma. I actually do think it's legit really good. That might be one of the best League Partner Chromas we've had. And yes, it is Zoe, but it looks really good. We'll be getting that in like a couple weeks. Next patch. Where'd you get it? From a League Partner? However the League Partner's giving out their codes. Not a great colour. Well, that's the colour of League Partner though. Green. Every league partner chrome is green. Okay, he's way too fed. I must be quicker than you. No! God damn it. Why green? I don't know. Yeah, I think we've uh, we lost a bit too much this game. We did well in bot lane, but it's just a bit Shut too fed. Down. He has clap. Oh, really? Yeah, feels bad. Oh, oh man. Oh, wow. Did you hear that? Woo! Woo! Man, that makes you feel alive. You want some? He had ult again? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, Aatrox, yeah, Aatrox in his current kit is just very strong, so I don't know. He, he might just be one of those champs that Riot can't really balance. They do exist. They have existed throughout the years. Oh. Because like I played that, I think okay. Just the the raw damage of Zed is just too much for me to do anything to right now. Maybe later I can do something. I don't know. Can they nerf your? Can you stop nerfing your entire champion pool? That's why you shouldn't always adjust your champion pool to like the pick of the months. You should always have something to fall back on. Do I live? No. 825 damage that pop did. Wow. That's a large pop. Worth though, because I got a thousand gold, but still. Huzzy rip. How's everybody doing, baby? Everybody good? I'm guessing Gals is currently on Classic WoW. I'm guessing Jeebus is planning a way to kill his co-workers. The road to ruin is shorter than 
don't know what you're talking about. Ah, <laughs> uh, see, I got them both right. Two out of two, baby. <laughs> Uh, well, you know people for like, what, close to 10 years, you know what they're doing. You are some! Come back. That's that's not nice. Baby, come back. You're about to do BFD, which is that Black Fathom Deep. Piggies. He's killing piggies! Man, I wish I was Horde. I'm, I'm just going to say that right now. I wish I was Horde. Horde is so much cooler. F in the chat for not being Horde. I'm sorry! Ow. Oh, that's not good. Oh, where did your healing come from? Oh my, the redemption. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> God damn it. I've become a typical Yasuo. Does anybody like dark chocolate? Look at this. This this is legit the best dark chocolate I've ever had in my life. It's Honduras. 72% dark chocolate. It's so good. And I just have a little again. Dark chocolate is in some diets. I don't I don't know why it's in some diets. I read this. So I just have a little piece every now and then. Like two of those a day. Oh. 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 Mm. I'm happy right now. That is very good. Mm. Very mmm. There's like literally no sugar in that. Mm. That is so good. Yeah, well, dark chocolate is good in general. It's not bad pretty much at all. But obviously, if you eat a billion of it, sure. But if you eat like little bits, they always, like they say, you know, in a diet, you should always have something as like a little treat every now and then, just so your brain doesn't go crazy. And uh, pretty much the snack that they always give in... Uh, I don't really want to ult him. Uh, but they always pretty much do dark chocolate as that snack. is all up again. I'm dead. Wow. Oof. Oof, chat. Oof. No, nah, I did 1400 damage the pop. Holy Jesus. 1400 damage. That's a lot of damage. Kill the beast! Hey, we got him. Why does I unmute? I'm on the Smurf in normal games. If I'm in ranked, I'd mute the chat now. Again, we're also playing with Twitch subs, so I don't want to block twi Twitch subs chatting. Honestly, we should do that. No? Is that a bad idea? Like, we're losing anyway. Oh, they should have taken that blasting cone. Sweet. 
That's good. It's a comeback. Comeback. Oh. That actually worked. Well, yeah. They had no way to come. Never could stay in one place. If I maybe does he have GA still? He doesn't, right? The Zed. Now it's time to ult the Zed with my ult. Um. Yeah, Felix. Do uh, Fe wait. I have to remember from last subathon. I think you had the second highest. Again, I have to remember who has the naming rights to the to this account when, it, when it's level thirty. And then the people that have got have got coaching is who? Dad's Bane, I think, was one, and then someone else was one. So we'll have to work that out too. All right, we we can fight this. Go 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 go. Oh, there was an opening. Have I? You thought to make TFT challenge for backseat gaming only? Hell no. That would be a nightmare. I went. To be honest, what I realized the other day actually has helped me, like myself, when it comes to TFT backseating. I went in Saint Vicious's stream. And I went in Scara stream, both of which are arguably two of the best content creators right now for TFT. And, um... I can't see where I am. No. Oh. Um, the, the backseating in their channels is insane. Like, at, like, legit insane. And I was like, oh, if they're getting it, then, yeah. Holy moly. People like talking strats. Eh, it's not really just that. It's legit people telling what to do, even if it's terrible advice. I think it's just because it's such a, a new game mode. Because, like, in League, someone who's been low rating for years is like, okay, I'm low rating. In TFT, it's a bit more open right now. Like, I've hardly played much TFT. I'm in Platinum. Like, it's stupidly easy to climb in TFT. So there's also that, I think, as well. So, yeah. I'll, I'll get Diamond in TFT by the end of the season, but I don't even know what the rewards are going to be. Maybe like a gold chroma for the uh, little legend. That would make sense. When's the end of the season? Couple months? We see some WoW today? Probably not. Again, I'm not streaming too much of that because it's kind of like my personal game right now. I don't really want to commit for that. Oh, did, I didn't tell you guys, by the way. My dad's car is in um, the dealership again already today. Nothing crazy. There was just a scratch that we didn't notice when he picked it up. So he's getting that fixed today. But there's also been this really weird, like, rocking noise. Like, there's something loose in the car. And uh, they found it pretty quickly when my dad took it in today. It was a girl's bead. You know, like, you can have, like, a hair bead? It was, an ha it was a hair bead in one of the back vents. One of the air vents. So it's like when, when a family checked out the car before my dad bought it or something, a girl must have been in the back seat and put a bead in the air vent. It's like, what? <laughs> like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> So yeah, at least the rattle, whatever it was, is now gone. I need GA. My honor left a long yep. Time. That Teemo damage, hello. 
He died without the vial. That's unfortunate. Um, the the yeah, on the Huzzy community page, I did collect a bunch of feedback. It's mainly just for me. Um, I already have edited all the videos that I've collected before that, but in upcoming videos, one of the biggest things we're going to do, and what I collected from feedback, we're going to have runes. Even if, because we're not doing champion selects anymore because of how many dodges that occur, I'm going to have runes pop up on the screen, so at least you know what runes I did in the game. That is something that apparently like a lot of people have been asking for me to do. So that that's a big thing we're going to do. And like, the main bit of advice that a lot of people had or just feedback was like, make sure you just keep having fun. Um, and yeah. Go do Baron. Uh oh. Damn it. I should have stopped DPS earlier. My bad. Don't know why I just didn't think he would have got that. Enemy team of throne. Hey, let's go, dude. Look at this comeback. Again, I know this hasn't been like a brilliant commentary, but I still might upload this as a chill second video of the day. I've also brought my KD back to being neutral. I've died way too much, but you know, I guess that's yes, whoa. Ten death power spike, yeah, that's what it was. Got three thousand gold. Full build. Ah! What? Also, if someone on one of my Twitch says says GG is in all chat, never do that again. But holy moly. Wow. That's surprising. Huh. 12, 12, 12, 2, 6, 3 farm. Got an A minus and damage done. Dell, eh, not bad damage. Teemo Shroom's doing good in late game. And I guess that's kind of why. Like, they didn't have an AD carry. So, like, if he started to do better, then I think we would have struggled. But when these two made mistakes individually... um. Then they had nothing to fall back on. Graves wasn't playing great. Ezra wasn't really a thing. So, yeah. Again, if I am uh, uploading this, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, throw a like on it. Throw a subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.